guys, so today I'm here with the Bachelor book tag. I was not tagged in it, but I saw it around YouTube and decided that I wanted to do it. I have not actually watched The Bachelor or The Bachelorette. I know, that's extremely strange because everybody seems to have watched it. I love the questions, so I wanted to do it. So before I get started, please thumbs up and subscribe so you can get notifications of when we upload videos. The first question is, first impression rose, a book that you bought because of the cover. That is easy because it's Wayfair by Alexandra Bracken. I'm going to read it so it's not really a cover buy, but it's just so pretty it can be considered one. The second question is two on one date. That sounds messy. Your favorite and most disliked book from a series. So the one I dislike is Cinder by Marissa Meyer. It's a very slow book to me, so I couldn't really get into it. And when I did, it was near the end of the book when it started picking up. So it's not my liked in that series. And the one I do love from that, not like but love, is Cress. I love Rapunzel, so I like to see how it changes in that setting and how cool she is because she's smart and works with technology. Hamster break. This is my hamster. Who's identical to mine? His name is Hamster. <laughs> Show your face! I love that they're matching. They're twins. It's trying to... <laughs> so the next question is the wrong reasons. The one that starts off so strong but then ends a hot mess. This one took forever for me to figure out... What was it? Oh yeah. And I don't know why because I always talk about it being a hot mess really. And that's The Unbecoming of Mara Dyer by Michelle Hodkin. It started off with a good premise, it was strong, it was cool, and then somehow it goes downhill and the ending was such a mess of hotness I can't comprehend. Did you make a noise? <laughs> Siri's trying to talk to me! Oh, my That was Siri! She's like, I don't know what you're talking about. Rude. Interrupting. You and Hamster today, Siri. Ow! <laughs> Next question! Bachelor in Paradise, your favorite light read. I don't read books for lightness, I read them for heaviness. But it took me a while to figure out one. I had to look in my Kindle books because I don't really have one on my shelf that I would consider a light read. And that's Touched by Angels by Peggy Webb. It's a cute little novella with lightness in it. It's, it's a cute one. It's nice. It keeps me from going crazy with all these deranged characters in the background. The next question is the most dramatic season ever. A book with a totally insane roller coaster plot that had your jaw dropping. 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 And that is Hopeless by Colleen Hoover. It had some crazy moments in there, just like a literal roller coaster, like doing this this stuff. But I love it. I love the emotions it gives me when I read it. It's crazy and madding and chaotic and sad and it's just a bunch of roller coaster emotions. Next question. The fantasy <laughs> The next question is the fantasy suite. There we go. A book that has the best romantic build up and release. And this is one me and Amanda both agree upon and that's Vicious by LJ Shen. That was an awesome read. It Took them forever to get together, so the buildup was driving me crazy, and I just wanted them to get together, but they weren't listening to me and being very dramatic and angry, and it, it was annoying me. But finally, they got together. So it was great. The last one is The Final Rose. <laughs> Best book you read in the last month. So the one of the books I read this past month that I really loved was Lip Service by Simone Sowood. It's really cool and I have a review for it so I'll link that down below and you guys can go check it out. Anyways, that is the last question of the Bachelor book tag. I don't have a specific person to tag but if you want to do this please do so and then leave a link down below so I can check it out because I always love to see tags that I've done. Remember to give a thumbs up especially for Hamster because it makes him happy about himself. <laughs> Subscribe to our channel to see more of my Hamster. <laughs> And I'll see you next time. Bye!